Hello everyone, I'm Hai Ching, Tori Higan Yao, and today I would like to share with you a lecture naming Getting to Know Religion Through 12 Ways. Firstly, we will go through it through biology. The awareness of religion is a collective effort with origins in which human communities differentiate themselves from other primates. This is shown with the sophistication of sounds, materialism, and language. And then we will go through it from the point of view of anthropology. A religion is also a collective effort by a religious community in which they differentiate themselves from others in order to be different. This comes with motivational benefits. As you can see here, I will go through the religions of this picture from that to right. You can see there is Taoism, Hinduism, East Asian Buddhism, Japanese Buddhism, Baha'ism, uh, the Reform Judaism, Confucianism, uh, Messianic Jews, uh, the Shintoism, the traditional Judaism, the Evangelical Christianity, the Sikhism, Islam, as well as Christianity as a whole. Then we will go through it from the aesthetical point of view. Aesthetics are the study of beauty, so religions are human efforts to define beauty. So, at first we will see the divine beauty, in which we see the beauty of God. And then we will go through the, and then the, we will go through the steps further, and as you can see that, the followers, they have fellowship together following their religion. And then the, fe the fellowship members as well as the leaders, they will have a community effort to fulfill a vision. Then we will see from the cultural point of view, the multiplicity of cultures interact, exert control and retain some differentiation. And this has led to the reiterated existence of Brokaw's age communities. Firstly, the cultures, the religions, the interact. Then the, uh, there is some exertion of control over the members of a religion. And then there will be some retention of differences despite despite the truth that some benefits, some goodness that come from other people are absorbed within the community and remain the same. So there will be differentiation and there will be assimilation as well. Let's go back. Then we have the <coughs> point of view of journalism. Uh, you you might have seen it, the point of view of compassion, and now we go to the point of view of journalism. A religion is a kind of social tool in which communities flex their control and stabilization upon themselves and upon others. Then we go to the economical point of view. Religions restore faith towards economical prosperity as well as having stimulus properties to the economy. And then we will go to the political side. A good religion is an impetus for social progress and puts forward political propaganda as well as realizes communal aspirations. Then we will go through it from the educational point of view. A good religion is of a good guidance to children as well as of good 
wealth to the youth. However, any bad religion jeopardizes social development. And then we will go through it from a linguistical point of view. A good religion inspires and acts in control in the progression of language. It also delimits the social psychological trend from deterioration, as well as working in facilitating social differentiation hand in hand with the communicative properties of religion and language. Then we will look at it from the literary, visual, and musical arts. As you can see, they are hugely communal. And there are three major locational differences. The first are Americans and Europeans. They are located at the western side of the hemisphere and they are mainly Abrahamic and Christian. And then there will, we will have Asians of mixed heritages and they will be different, uh, have, having re really, really different religions from east to west and from north to south. As this happens to the Africans as well, but they will have a totally different set of religions. And then we will look at it from a deity point of view. Religions are holistic and covers all the strata of the society. We can look at it from the religious history, the scriptural arts and teachings, uh, as well as the as well as the religions integration and developments in the Brockhoist age. Thanks for joining the course. Please like and share if you love it.